And now it's time for the Minute of Silence. Will you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. Welcome to Twain TV. I'm Connor. And I'm Jessica. Today is Friday, January 17th, 2014. Now here's what's happening in your world. Congratulations to the Special Olympics basketball teams for their efforts this past Saturday. The Twister Tigers in Division 8 and Lady Tigers in Division 12 started the season with one win and one loss at Leesburg Tournament this past Saturday at Loudoun High School. Are you planning on auditioning for Willy Wonka? Wait, you haven't picked up your packet yet? What are you waiting for? Auditions are next week and your packet must be completely filled out in order to audition. So get yours today in the drama room. Packets will be available until the end of today, but that's it. See Miss Leibowitz to get yours. If you're going to the elective exams begins, you still need to make sure your service learning is turned in. See your civic teacher with any questions. So this is a huge week in the NFL playoffs. Let's go to Connor with our sports report. I hear he's all kinds of awesome. Hello. Sports, Connor Vaughn. My time to shine! Hello sports fans, this is your sports reporter, Connor Vaughn. We've had some great playoffs so far, which begs the question, who will play in the Super Bowl? Will it be the Patriots and the Seahawks, or maybe the 49ers versus the Broncos? To answer that question, we will go to our sports analyst, which is also me. Of the teams still standing, the 49ers have the most offensive yards and total tackles, making them superior to the Seahawks. Although the Seahawks have the loudest stadium and some of the most supporting fans on the other, si on the other side, we have Patriots versus the Broncos. The Broncos are known for their great offense, led by future Hall of Famer Peyton Manning. Will New England's defense be able to pull through? Personally, I think the 49ers and the Broncos will go to the Super Bowl. Only time will tell. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Twain Sports. I'm Connor Vaught, signing off. Yeah, he is all kinds of awesome. Now here's today's lunch menu. Spicy chicken on bun, tangerine chicken with brown rice, baked fish filet on bun. Choice of two vegetables, baked seasoned potato wedges, mixed vegetables, carrot coins with celery, and choice of one fruit. Chilled peach slices or frozen whole fruit juice cup. Thanks to all who requested this morning's song. Well, that's all we have for you t today from the studio. I'm Connor. And I'm Jessica. Stay tuned for the Administrator's Corner after these messages. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagra Instagram at Twain TV. And check out YouTube.com slash Twain MS News to watch other news crew productions. Have, have a, a fabulous, fabulous Friday, Friday, Twain! Twain. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. What is this commercial that you see? I'm here to talk about Mark Twain Middle School's TSA Penny Drive. All the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. What is it, you ask? Well, it's a donation fundraiser that is sponsored by the Mark Twain TSA chapter. What can you do? 
all you have to do is donate pennies. But you don't only have to donate pennies if you want. But you can also donate dollar bills and other coins, like quarters or extra change. The penny drive will be from this Wednesday through Friday. You can come donate at your lunch. Thank you for your time. See you there. Good morning, Mark Twain. Here's today's daily joke. What did the spider do on the computer? Made a website. <laughs> Have a great day, Twain. Happy Friday morning, Twain. All buses were on time this morning. Twain students, remember, Monday is a holiday, so please don't show up to school because we won't be here. Also, during your ELT time today, Twain, you'll have uh, your enrichment opportunities to go over. Your teachers will be showing you what en enrichment opportunities we have for second semester. So make sure you look over them. Look over them this weekend because next week in your English classes, you'll be selecting your top five enrichment classes per period. Have a great Friday and see you on Tuesday, Twain.